All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are bringing you one of our first projects from the new shop. Ta da! Yeah, all kinds of stuff going on. that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. First things first, 2022 Lexus GX 460. This one is a black line edition in black and we are going to do our Dobinsons and we are gonna do some BFGs and we are gonna also do these, these right here, these Wed Sport TC 105s. Those are Japanese and they are forged. They're awesome. If you saw our video about our green one, it's the same thing, same kit, Dobinsons IMS, Dobinsons Upper Control Arms, Wed Sports, BFGs, 285s. You know what we gotta do? We gotta get her done. All right, so as you can tell, we don't have any lifts in here yet, but we do have our quick jacks. We're set up, we gotta lift this rig. Let's get a measurement. I do love the black chrome. I'm a big fan, big fan of the black chrome. Currently sitting 34 and a half to the fender in the rear. 36 and an eighth. So we got two inches of rake in it. Now watch, because KDSS, it never fails. It never sits level, even though this thing's only got 2,000 miles on it. Well, I say that. <laughs> I say that. Yeah, okay, we're a little out. We're three-eighths out right here. Now that we've got our initial base measurements, let's raise this puppy up. It's definitely faster than jack stands. All right. Let's get some wheels off. It's like Darth Vader's hovercraft. Prepare my ship. All right, this is a 2,000 mile car. So it has barely seen anything. So the good news is all the hardware is gonna be free and we won't have to fight with anything. So I'm gonna give you my play-by-play -play on how I do this start to finish. We've done a bunch of install videos of various ones, but let's give you the whole rundown on this one, I guess. Uh, first place I start, because we have a solid axle in the rear with springs, and I think I've touched on this before, uh, with coil springs in the back. First thing I do is the rear. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is this ABS wire. We don't want to overextend it, so we're gonna loosen its retaining bolt. And I always put the hardware back where they go, even if it's just a couple of threads. All right, there's one there. And then there is another one on the other side for the rear brake lines. Same deal. Follow the rear brake lines up. You'll see the bracket that holds it to the chassis. Now that that's done, first thing you're gonna do is loosen the 19 millimeter for the track bar. Then I find it easiest to remove the sway bar with a 14. You wanna kinda of do this in stages so it doesn't just go flying. Alrighty, so what that's gonna do is allow the rear end to droop further away so that we can get the rear coils in and out that much easier. With that track bar tight and this sway bar hooked up, you really gotta fight them. If you just take a second, take these off, but be mindful when you put them back in, you wanna start them by hand. You don't wanna just zap them on with an impact. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is loosen the control arms. We wanna make sure they're all loose and then we'll go back and retighten them once we're at ride height after the fact. All right, as you can see, the bushings are in tension. This is also a 19. You don't have to take all these bolts out, but you do have to get them all loose because otherwise the bushings are in a bind and you heard it pop right there. 
And what happens is the rear end won't drop all the way out to where you can replace the coils. All right, this last one's kind of a bear. So we're going nutty. What happens is the bushing is bound up on this one above the fuel tank and you cannot use an impact on it because the bushing soaks up all the vibration. So what I use is the big nasty three quarter inch breaker bar. All right, now that we've got that dirty rat all taken care of, pull the lower bolt out of the shock and then up top. Okay, so this is where a set of ratcheting wrenches comes in real handy, except the shock wants to spin. Trick for that, big channel locks. You just hold the body of the shock. All right, once you get close to the top, that's the part where you wanna put a jack under the rear end. All right, jack goes under the rear end. We're using the Badlands three-ton off-road jack right now. If you haven't seen our initial impressions video, be sure to check that out. So that holds that in place. And at this point, you can go ahead and remove the shock. Right here, it's pretty loose, so you can just hold it. So once you got your shock loose, you can slowly lower your jack and your rear end basically comes free. And bring the jack on down slowly. And that pivots that out. And now the trick is you have leverage here. The bushing in the bottom is really tight. So you just use the top to make the bottom slide off that much easier. At this juncture on either side of the rear end, once again, double check your wiring and hoses. Make sure you're not putting any undue strain on anything. And your coil basically falls right out. All right, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in to episode one of the in-depth Dobinson's IMS install on a 2022 Lexus GX460. We love doing these vehicles here at Cody Crafted. And if we can do anything for you, order parts, answer questions, or even design a build, drop down in the comments and let us know what you're thinking. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and make sure you're sharing us with your friends if you like the content that we're sharing. We'll see you on the next one as we continue the series. And if you'd like to see some of the other cool stuff going around the shop right now, click this video right here.